Hi everyone, I'm Gordon Bonus with Daily Extra. Today I'm at the Art Gallery of Ontario for the Jean-Michel Basquiat retrospective, Now's the Time. It's the first show of its kind in Canada. See me? I just do what I do. Yeah, check. Let me flip this script. See that? In 1985, he was on the cover of New York Times magazine. Basquiat was an artist with an outstanding artistic personality. He shoots to stardom in the early 80s. Uh, why did he hit so big so fast? Because of his energy in the works. This incredible intellectual capacity and this incredible energy in the works that he just put in. What Basquiat said once is about 90% anger and you feel this unbelievable intensity. Speaking of the anger, the, there's the searing critique of race, of class, of corporate greed. He goes beyond just resistance. The idea of winning is very important to him. Fame is part of it, but winning is a bigger concept, I think. Mm -hmm. You see it in the boxers, you see it in a lot of works, how the pose of winning. Also a hundred years ago, a boxing champ gave an African-American the empowerment to be, to win, which he didn't have in many areas. He was referring to them as his heroes, as strong persons winning, and winning also over racism. Now you have a very personal connection to Basquiat, can you talk about that? Well, aside from being tattooed on my wrist, um, he was the gateway, he was the first artist that I was introduced to that showed me alternative not the traditional old masters, finally seeing skin tones that looked like mine in music, felt like music that I was listening to. Yeah, and appearing on, in museum walls, that was foreign. Now you're a queer woman of color. Uh, you're a, uh, the child of immigrants, I believe, as well. So there's many ways that you can intersect with the work on that level. Can you talk about that? Well, I think that to me as a queer person of color, um, I relate to Basquiat's work because I find it very queer. And what I mean by that is that um, I think in everything that Basquiat did, he was trying to resist normative standards of beauty, normative standards of um, sort of just experiencing the world. And I think that that's a very queer way of living. And you know, regardless of his sexual orientation or, or how he you know, lived his intimate life, I think that as his work um, is displayed to the greater community, I think queer people can relate to that uh, resistance. Can you talk a bit about the ways that he, that Basquiat subverts sort of traditional macho masculinity? I look at more of his peers, the scene. I analyze the scene he was a part of. The painting around the corner hung above Keith Haring's bed. He just wanted people of interest, people who were passionate and talented and out there. And that's, I feel, the best way to make art is by surrounding yourself with a bunch of quote unquote weirdos, you know, and, and be a weirdo yourself. And that's what I find so beautiful about the work. His work is relevant as much of today as it was 30 years ago when he was painting.